Big 95.5, Brooke Taylor, Neil Arts is here. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're at our Miller Lite Nashville Nights concert here at JW Holsteins in Tinley Park, and we're so excited that we finally get to introduce you to our Big 95.5 family. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Uh, we were just talking. Uh, Tenille came by the studio. I don't know. It feels like yesterday. Yeah, it does. But um, we got to play some music for some of uh, just like a small group of people, and now mm. you've got fans that are out here that are like, girl, I've been a fan of yours forever, yeah. and I finally get to meet you. What's that like for you as like sort of this upcoming artist that's paving your own way in country music and seeing like this fan base just react like that? It's got to be the coolest feeling. It is the coolest feeling. Like honestly, when you write songs, you just like dream of the day that people actually know your lyrics and they can sing them back. And for me, this past year has been incredible. After I performed on The Bachelor, it's like everywhere I go, people are like singing along to my songs and it's like, it's crazy. It's yeah. the best feeling. Rewind to yourself, say like a year ago. What is some advice maybe you'd give to yourself a year ago oh that's different gosh. than like right now? Um, <laughs> I would say get more sleep. Yeah. That would literally be it because, oh my gosh, it was just like, go, go, go. And um, about a year ago, I had just started radio tour and yeah, it's been like, a cra I, like I blinked and this year went by. And um, so, yeah, I mean, th probably get more sleep and uh yeah, just enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy yeah. the crazy ride. Yeah. Now, growing up, when you decided that you wanted to do music and you decided, you know, this is the career I want to, like, get a hold of, did you ever think it was going to be as crazy busy as you are right now? I mean, I hoped for that because yeah. I knew that, like, artists are, like, crazy busy and on the road all the time. And I love being on the road. Like, when I'm back in Nashville, I'm like, okay, when can I get out again? Because right. I just love it. I love meeting people and, and uh, yeah, just visiting different cities and everything. So, um, yeah, I expected myself to be busy and I honestly I enjoy it it's yeah. been so much fun that's the best when yeah. you're just like I'm not working this yeah. is just so much fun <laughs> yeah what would you say right now in your this point in your career is your favorite part of everything besides touring because you just said you love touring so much your yeah. favorite part about just maybe like the behind the scenes of everything oh my gosh there's so many things that I love I think I love celebrating with my team like when when big things happen like that's my favorite part like I just made my Grand Ole Opry debut this past yeah, weekend and like they threw a huge party for me afterwards and like to see people from like all different sides of my team like come together for like such a big moment that they've been a huge part of like I love that the just exciting times we try to celebrate every little victory yeah and walking out on the Opry stage just I mean how were your nerves just like shot were you just like what is happening right now yeah I was freaking out and I thought I was like I think I'm gonna throw up but then once I got out on stage and like stepped into the circle it was just kind of like this moment of this is real like yeah. this is happening and I enjoyed it I really did like I wasn't freaking out the whole time about 15 minutes into the first song I was like I got this this is cool yeah, you're like, okay, I'm not nervous anymore I'm just at a show yeah that's cool too because it's one of those like big circle moments where you're just like I'm doing it yeah like, I'm doing this I know there's so many things that like you know you you get excited about in the industry and then like maybe they don't happen or whatever so like I was almost in the mindset of I'll believe it when I'm there yeah. <laughs> like when it's really happening and then yeah so the whole night was just kind of like this is actually happening I cried way more than I thought I was going to it was ridiculous yeah, yeah. well and checking the Opry off of your bucket list what's next on the list what's something else you want to accomplish oh man I want to go on a big tour yeah. that's been kind of like the thing that I feel like we've been working towards because yeah. we you know we want to have the songs out there we want to be ready I've been working with my band like we're prepped and we're ready to go <laughs> ready to so go. yeah we just need that you're ready for the phone call y'all she's yes. ready for the phone call she's willing <laughs> to say yes just saying who's yeah. ever watching this um now i feel like this is like a perfect night that you're here in chicago because rumor has it you have a song that's about to drop at midnight and a video that goes along with that so tell us about it yeah so it's um one of the first releases from my new album um coming out next year sometime um but it's uh it's called somebody like that and it's a really fun song just about like the kind of love that you're looking for and for me that was like looking back on my parents and my grandparents and the kind of relationships that they had and so yeah it's just like a fun song about like i don't want to meet a guy and just hang out with him for one night you know i want to like actually get to know them yeah. and love somebody like that like i've got standards and they're gonna be met yeah. right <laughs> Yes. All yeah. right. Well, if you are watching right now, you're not here um, at the show. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Big 955 Chicago and uh, at Tenille Arts. At Tenille Arts is hers as well. Uh, we'll post lots of behind the scenes from the shows tonight. But thank you for being here. We're so excited to watch you perform. Thank you so much. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs>